Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Reformation Day. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all platforms. And donate your tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us uh, rolling. And our kids need this gospel in these dark times. If the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. If you peel away all the stuff about Luther, all the cool stuff about a monk standing up to the authority, all the, the stuff about, about going one on one with the Pope and the Roman Church, what this is really all about, what Reformation is really all about, is the comfort of troubled consciences. God wants you in Christ to know that your sins are forgiven. He wants you to know that you don't deserve it. You didn't merit it. You didn't work for it. Instead, he has sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law to redeem you. And the son, who is always a member of the family, if he sets you free, then you are free indeed. We are all slaves to sin, each of us. Slave to our works, slave to our, our evil. We want to do good, but don't do we, things we hate we do. We don't care about what we do. Uh, we justify what we do, and we think we're really not that bad, and we only need a little bit of help. A little bit like a smoldering, like sort of smoking uh, a bit of wood that if just a little bit of, a little bit of breath from God, a little bit of fire from God, and we'll be aflame. But in actuality, we're slaves to our sin. We're slaves. We can't get rid of them. We can't fix them. No amount of, of good will outweigh our bad. Nothing that we do merits favor with God. And so God isn't going to deal with us that way. He sent his son in order to save us. The son who is always family takes our slavery to sin upon himself and dies. And by his stripes, we are healed. And if the son sets you free from your sin and from your guilt and from your pain and from your failures, then you are free indeed. Free to live, free to move, free to have our being, free to love others as you've been loved and receive love in return. Free to stand before God forgiven, saying that a man is justified not by what he does or doesn't do, by Christ alone, by faith alone, Romans 3. And so Reformation, when you peel out all the things about it, is not that we, we formed our own church. It's that God took the church and dragged it back to the gospel. It's not that we wanted to have our own, our own sort of governance in the Lutheran church. We didn't want to be Lutherans at all. Um, what we wanted was to be able to worship God freely in his forgiveness. And to sum that all up, it's about comfort. Christianity is about comfort, not you doing. It's about Jesus, not what you've done for him. It's about the Father loving us in the Son, not us loving God. It's about forgiveness so that everyone would know from all over this world, this little piece of dirt, that God won't treat us as we deserve. He will not harbor anger forever. He will not give us what we deserve or punish us for what we've done. Not in Jesus, not in the cross of Christ. Instead, he's taken his son, what he's done for us, and delivered to us in word, water, and, body, and in his body and blood, and faith, which holds fast to what Jesus did for us, delivered to us in the word, his holy life and his bitter suffering and death. Faith believes, trusts that promise, and we're saved. Not by what we do, not by what we don't do, not by the change that we make, not by decisions that we made, none of that. That's all various forms of ways that we look at our chain and act like chains and act like they're not there. No. You want to be freed from your chains to sin? Believe that Jesus died for you. You want to stand before God on the last day holy? Um, the one who seeks to save his life by what he does and doesn't do shall lose it, but the one who loses his life, who dies to himself so that he might live for God, lives forever 
in Jesus Christ. So a blessed, if the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. A blessed, we maintain that a man is justified, forgiven by grace, that is by faith alone, apart from the works of the law. A blessed Reformation Day to you and to your family tomorrow, October 31st. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things Video Short.